Well, hello, and uh, how are you doing? I apologize that I've been away for a little while. Uh, I did have a couple of weeks there when I was quite ill. I, I had a severe bronchial infection, and I had to take a week off work. Well, a week. I worked from home. I didn't take actually any time off now that I think about it, but I did work from home for a week, uh, which... It's like taking time off, I guess. Remote work is different than on-site work. So, yeah, I was I was uh, home for a week, uh, recovering. And then the following week, I was back in. I was no longer contagious, but I was still far from 100%. And I needed to uh, take a few more days at home to... Uh, a few more days at home and a few more days of rest when I got home from work to just uh, fully recover. And, you know, a couple of hectic uh, weekends in between, a lot of um, things going on. We just had Easter, of course, for those of you who celebrate, and for those of you just like, hey, long weekend, cool. That's that's all right, too. I don't, uh, I don't pass judgment, and I don't... Uh, I don't really get plussed or nonplussed, whether you celebrate or not, if... Uh, if you had a good weekend with friends and family, that's all that really matters. So yeah, uh, lots has been going on, as, as most of you would know by now. I have uh, an 80-pound dog sleeping beside me on the floor in the studio, like right there. <laughs> I can't, I can't, uh, I don't have the other camera set up to show her just yet, but I will work on that for... The next show, I promise you, because I've been migrating stuff from the Windows machine to the Mac machine so that uh, I'm still using both, but the Windows machine will be used for different purposes. Live streaming, uh, audio video production will all be done through the Mac. Uh, it's a Mac Mini, uh, entry level, the M2 chip, whatever it is, I don't know. The thing works like a charm and it's very tiny and I'm very happy with it. And for 800 bucks, it was money well spent. 800 Canadian, I don't know. I think it's less than that in the U.S. You know, it's all relative, right? So I am sitting here having a pint of Guinness on a Monday evening, uh, post, post-Easter, post post-St. Patrick's Day, post-Irish um, Heritage Month, which is what March uh, was. And I only learned that just the other day. Now, I don't know if that's a global thing or just a Canadian thing. I just learned that Irish Heritage Month was a thing. And fitting that it's March because, you know, St. Saint Patrick's Day. One second, I just had to clear my throat. So, yeah, a lot of things have been learned recently. Uh, some new emotional tools. Um, uh, grappling with some emotional lessons. Um, one of the things that I've uh, discovered about myself is that, and it's something that I say to people all the time, uh, you are responsible for how you react to something, not how somebody else reacts. So if a uh, work scenario, for example, or a, or a personal scenario, but whatever the case may be, comes up where maybe some words get exchanged that might always be construed in one way or another and not necessarily good. You are only responsible for what you say to somebody, how they you know, perceive it and how they react to it is out of your control. You may mean one thing, they may perceive it in another way. That's out of your control. 
What you can control, however, is if you have a conversation with somebody and they come back to you with, well, uh, when you said this to me, uh, blah, 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 whatever, and you can simply look at them and go, I am terribly sorry. There was a miscommunication there. I perceived it in this manner, and what I meant was in this manner. Nuance. Something that a lot of people seem to let go of these days. Which is truly sad, because we all suffer for it. Look, we're all going to make a lot of mistakes. I make them every single day. I try and do my best to learn from them. Some days I do. Some days I don't. Sometimes I'm a stubborn as a mule <laughs> and don't want to move because I think I'm right. And in a moment of anguish or anxiety or despair or even anger, you may feel like you need to stand your ground. I understand that in that moment that might be what is necessary to make you carry on to the next. But reflection upon moments like that is what's important when you can step back and go, wait a second here. Uh, maybe I didn't exactly read that correctly. Maybe I didn't respond correctly. Maybe I should reach out to whomever that person was and have a discussion and say, listen, when I said this thing about that, I meant this. And now that I'm looking at it, hindsight being twenty twenty, I'm thinking maybe you perceived it in a different manner. And the last thing I would ever want to do is cause you harm or upset you. So let's revisit that situation and have another conversation. And sometimes it doesn't work out. You go, okay, so this is what I said. This is what I meant. I thought you perceived it this way. They go, I perceived it that way. There's no other way to perceive it. Okay, but what I meant was this. Eh, nah, too late. Sometimes that's just how it rolls. And there's nothing, nothing at all you can do about it. And moments like those, you just got to go, okay. Throw your hands up, accept it for what it is, and move on. We can't fix every single thing. I know we want to, because it's in our nature to do so. I know that most people feel empathy and compassion for others. Most. There are some people who don't. And you know what? I don't even judge them for it. I don't. You know why? They've probably had some severe trauma in their life that has caused them to behave in a manner such as they are. So I try. I try and be empathetic and I try and be compassionate. Sometimes I have no empathy. Especially if you've harmed me or my friends, or my family, or my community. And if you've gone out, away, gone out of your way to continue harming somebody, well, I, I'm not going to... I'm not going to empathize with that, but I will be compassionate towards you. I'm not going to turn the other cheek because I'm not a deity, or the son of one. I'm a human male. And if you... Punch me in the face, I'm going to punch back. Now, all of that being said, that is the absolute last thing I ever want to do. I don't like conflict. I really don't. And I can do, and will do, and have done, as much as I possibly can to avoid conflict. Let's find a non-conflict resolution. Let's try and find a way to work through, around, figure out what the problem is and how we can solve it together. Sometimes we have irreconcilable differences. 
And in all honesty, I've always questioned the validity of that statement. Because when things like that are said, I'm like, well, am I not seeing this person's side of the story? Of course, there are exceptions to that rule. Um, I don't want you to get political, so I won't, but there are individuals who will not allow us to see the other side of the story. So what it all boils down to in the end, I'm sure you can hear the dog licking and <laughs> having a drink of water. No, 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 no. That's okay. The, the dog is having a, uh, a drink of water and, uh, this mic will pick it up. <laughs> so, um, why am I getting feedback? These are in-ear monitors. They shouldn't feed back. I apologize. Sometimes we have situations where those would do others harm and refuse to see any side of the story other than their own. I'm trying to avoid politics because this show is never about politics. But those are the individuals that I am... Um, pardon me. Those are the individuals I cannot uh, find empathy for. I can find compassion for them. Because when it comes down to it, individuals like that have probably gone through some pretty horrific stuff to arrive at that place. And I... I, I have compassion for somebody like that. No empathy, no sympathy, but compassion. Because it's like, you have obviously suffered some sort of trauma that has brought you to this place. Because if you had, and we've all got trauma, one level or another, some of us can get over it, some of us can work through it, some of us can seek out the help we need to get through it. But... Sometimes sometimes we just can't um, some, some people I'm trying to get my thoughts together here sometimes some people just cannot get over or past whatever the trauma was and as a result as the saying goes hurt people hurt people so that's where my compassion lies. I understand that those are people who are hurting and they're lashing out because they've been hurt. And sometimes people who've, who have been hurt are very quiet and very introspective. And the last thing they would ever do is bring harm to another person. And then there's other individuals who lash out at humanity because they've been hurt. And that's where my compassion lies, is for those who've not got the love or caring, or compassion or friendship or empathy or therapy or understanding who've just been hurt continually. Who want to hurt others? Some days... Some days, some, sorry, my headset just cut out there. Some days it's difficult to try and be understanding because there's a limit to the empathy we can provide to others. There's a limit to the compassion. We all have our limitations. And hopefully we can grow as individuals to overcome those limitations, but that's not always the case. I am 
honest enough to tell you that I cannot turn the other cheek, only because I've been beaten down too many times. So now I walk away. Until it's time to not walk away. Which I know is borderline a cheesy line from the 1989, is it 89 film Roadhouse, which has just been remade with Jake Gyllenhaal and Conor McGregor and watch it, don't watch it, I don't care. (laughs) But it was be nice until it's time to not be nice. And you have to figure out what that is, what your limit is, what your capability of showing kindness to others is. Especially when trying to show kindness to others and they just continually go out of their way to harm you. I've been on the receiving end of that. And instead of lashing out, well, with one exception anyway, I've just tended to walk away. Because I know that it's um, neither worth my time or my efforts or my emotions. And I just hope that person get the, can get the help they need. The whole purpose of this channel is to try and help as many people as possible. There are going to be times when there are folks who just simply don't understand that they have an issue. So therefore, getting help is not on the table because they don't know that there's a problem. They don't know that they can get help. They don't know that they're doing anything wrong because oftentimes they're so convinced that they're right that any other thing would be just abhorrent to them. And those are the folks I have compassion for because how horrible would it be to live life like that? To be angry all the time. To never have real love in your life. To never know what it's like to just be. For those folks, I feel bad. I really do, and those the, I think those are the folks that I'd like to help the most, but chances of them ever finding this channel and listening to a damn thing I have to say are slim to none, and Slim just walked out the door. But that's okay. That's okay, I can accept that, I can live with that. And I will still be here to provide, you know, an ear, a chat window. And uh, hopefully I can, I can give you folks a, a, a little respite from the, from the horridness of the, of the world that is often so present in our lives. Hopefully I can give you a little bit of uh, peace and joy and kindness and love and maybe put you to sleep because that's, you know, part of the process of the ASMR is to say soft things that help you relax. Because after all, I just want to help as many people as possible. Ah. So I'm going to have a sip of my Guinness if you don't mind. It's not a Guinness Zero, it's a regular Guinness. Um, I would love to have purchased some Guinness Zero, but every time I go to the store, it's sold out. So, you know. Um, The other funny thing about Guinness Zero is it's more expensive. (laughs) It's only more expensive by five cents, but uh, the cans are a little smaller. There's no alcohol, and it's five cents more. (laughs) I get it. There's extra processes involved, and I love the taste of Guinness. And I don't always want the alcohol. So it's nice to be able to have um, the ability to just um, just have a pint. Oh, hi, Tarot Destroyer. Why do I talk like this? Um, because this is my voice. And I like to speak in a soft, kind, caring, compassionate voice so that if you want to an audience or join a group of people who 
like to support one another. And if you're looking for a compassionate individual who can show you kindness, you are welcome. Uh, no, I'm on Zoloft, not lithium. You are welcome to uh, join our community. If you check your um, your religion and your politics at the door and your prejudgment, you are welcome to be here. But if you come in and insult anybody in the chat, I will ban you forever. You can insult me. I don't care about that. You cannot harm me. But if you um, if you harm anybody in my chat, I will ban you permanently. Because this community is a group of kind, caring, compassionate individuals who come here for kindness, caring, community, compassion. Okay, so you've earned yourself a... Um, a ban, a permanent ban. I will, uh, yeah. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna say goodbye to you. And uh, look, look. I'm sorry. You know what? Here's the thing. I'm really sorry that you don't have. Uh, I, I'm sorry that you don't have any love in your life. I'm so sorry that you don't have any friends or compassionate individuals. You, um, you, uh, you need some help. And uh, yeah, that's a shame. So uh, you're getting blocked because you refuse to play along by the rules, which are real simple. Be kind, be caring, be compassionate, be polite. But since you refuse to obey those simple rules, you get a ban. Uh, oh, I'm going to guess this is either a bot, this tarot destroyer is either a bot or a 14-year-old boy. Because I'm looking at what they're saying to me. More gay than a picnic basket. That's cute. <laughs> okay, you're getting banned. You're blocked. Uh, I, I'm not going to have that kind of behavior in this group. This group is about people who care about one another. No need to apologize, Mashataka. You had nothing to do, and you are not responsible for somebody else's actions. It's okay. I expect eventually the bots and the trolls are going to find their way here. I'll just block them if they do any harm. If they sit in the chat and just listen and join the community, they're welcome here. And I mean that. But if you come in with that type of attitude where you're going to um, say hurtful things that can harm the community, well, that's goodbye. Fresh out of prison, that's why he talks like a weirdo. Huh. How are they still here? I banned them. Let's just block them again. Yeah, I know. I'm blocking them. Yeah, okay, there we go. Um, I talk like this because it's calming, and it's meant to uh, help people relax and get a sense of peace and well-being. And I've worked in a prison, Kingston Penitentiary. And I can tell you some stories, but that's for a different channel and a different show. We don't talk about bad things here. We might talk about how we're feeling in the moment, if we're having a bad moment. But we don't talk about bad things like that. You know what? This person really is... Uh, uh, I'm just going to report them. Uh, let's see. Uh, there we go. Uh, let's see. This is harassing me. Okay. And reported. Okay. And now I'm going to uh, just block them because we don't need this. <clears throat> I feel uh, I real f I, I feel compassion for this individual because obviously they must have uh, a really horrible life. Like is to come on a show like this where we're talking about kindness and compassion for one another, and and this is what somebody wants to do. Like my goodness, how how terrible of a life they must have. I'm sorry, Tarot Destroyer, that. 
your life is oh so terrible that you felt you should come into a, a community chat group, an ASMR community chat group about mental health and just uh, attack people. But yeah, you're blocked and reported. And uh, we, won't, uh, we won't have that. <laughs> okay, this, this person's pretty good. They keep coming back. Uh, so I'll just continue to uh, just continue to uh, block them, report them, and uh, yeah. Uh, there you go. Must be a, must be a sad life one lives to do something like that, especially like I said in a venue like this when we're just here to uh, help each other out. But that's, uh, you know, some people are just, uh, they just, uh, I don't know, just, just live miserable lives and, and, uh, feel the need to harm each other. And that, that's somebody that I feel compassion for, that you, you, you reach out to, you know, you, you seek out somebody online to just harm them. That's terrible. But I'm, I'm not harmed by this at all. <laughs> I don't give a damn either way. Uh, oh, that must be a bot because they somehow keep coming back and uh, keep coming up with the same things over and over and over again. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a bot, obviously. I don't think a person would be doing that. <clears throat> anyway, we'll just report them and block them and move along. Anybody who would live a life like that to try and troll and harm people is like, wow, that's just uh, really sad. <laughs> like, really sad. Uh, I feel, like I said, compassion. I'm sorry for your, uh, I'm sorry that you feel that way, man. Like, pfft, wow. That's, that's really terrible. I don't understand that kind of behavior other than, like I said, hurt people hurt people. So, you know, I hope you get the help you need. I, I really do. I hope you can uh, seek out uh, some therapy from qualified individual that can help you get through whatever trauma it is that is causing you to reach out and try and harm a group of people that have nothing but good things to say. So, you know, I'll just have to continue to report you for every single line you've written. And, uh, you know, you're already blocked, so that's the easy part. But yeah, really sad. But, you know, here's how I'm showing you compassion. I'm not, I'm not doing things to harm you. I'm just making sure you don't harm anybody else. So, you know, everything you write gets reported. And I'm sorry that you, uh, I'm really sorry that you, you, uh, if you're a real person and not just a bot, I'm really sorry that you, you, um, behave in this manner. I'm sad that, uh, you know, like I said, hurt people hurt people. It's a shame that you would go out of your way to cause harm. Like I said, this is, this is a group of people who are here to lift up and support one another. So I just have to report all of their statements and, uh, you know, they're blocked permanently, but, uh, just continue to report everything, which is a real pain in the butt because it's not something I want to do while I'm doing a live show. But here we are, you know. Sometimes you just, uh, you just got to, uh, oh, let's see, block. Yeah. yeah, it's obviously running multiple accounts. Yeah, clearly. So I'll just shut them all down and report every single one of them. And uh, yeah, that's how you, that's how you take care of it. It's not always fun, but you know. <laughs> I, I, I have every reason to believe it's just a, a bot but I'll, I'll uh, report all their messages and uh, 
Yeah, we'll just get rid of them in that manner. So I hope everybody has had um, a good couple of weeks since I've been here. And I apologize for being away. Like I said, uh, you know, I was not feeling well for a bit. A couple of weeks of a bronchial infection, which is never fun. <laughs> but uh, happy to say that I'm back and feeling much, much better now. So I will... Uh, my intention is to to provide you with more content on a on a weekly basis, but throughout the week, I want to drop in little hidden tidbits here and there, like five minute shows or shorts or something to that effect. And I I think I'm going to be able to do that over the next few weeks. Just have to uh, just have to start to schedule it in because I've been so busy as of late. Anybody who knows me knows that I've got quite a quite a bit going on with uh, both my day job multiple podcasts that I produce and, and contribute to. And th th this one is near and dear to my heart because it was the one that sort of, you know, when I was going through a, a difficult patch there through the through the pandemic, as who, who wasn't? I mean, really, who wasn't going through a difficult patch through the pandemic? Uh, this is the, the, the one channel and the one venue where I was able to reach out and help a few people. And that was... You know, it lifted my soul just as much as I think it did for others. And in many ways, it probably lifted my soul more. I don't know. I mean, who's to say? How do you judge something like that? But here's the thing. I, I got so much from this in trying to help others that, um, yeah, it just, it just made things better for me. So this is why I continue to do it. And, you know, as, as difficult as life can be sometimes, when you have the opportunity to help out somebody else, and, and it, I find it really does, in all honesty, when I'm able to help somebody else, it, it does so much more for me than I think it does for them. Now, I could be wrong, but I'm sure you've all... Every single person in the chat here has probably had a moment or two like that where they've had an experience where you helped somebody in, in what you thought was the simplest possible way. And as it turned out, it was more helpful to you than it was to them. Sure, it helped them get through their thing over the hill and through the woods to grandmother's house we got, but... In all likelihood, it did more for you than it did for them. And that's been my experience. Because when you help somebody, in so many different ways, you're helping yourself too. Sorry, I just had to report about 60 or 70 messages, messages there, so to make sure they're permanently banned. Yeah, that person is permanently blocked, and looks like I got all their accounts, so uh, we're good, we're good. I feel compassion for that person. Why would somebody reach out to um, an ASMR mental health chat like this and and just, you know, want to cause harm to people? That's really sad. Makes you wonder, you know, what happened to that person to make them behave in that manner? It's, wow. I hope they get the help they need. I really do. Please understand this. Nothing they say will ever harm me. Ever. You can't harm me. You can't. It's just not possible. They're simply words. They don't hurt me. Words from a stranger really doesn't hurt me. So I'm fine. I just hope that uh, all the folks that were in the chat are, are okay and nobody, nobody felt hurt or threatened or unsafe as a result because that's the last thing I want in this space because as I've said a hundred times and I'll say it a hundred thousand more times this space is open to anybody who needs help if you are suffering from anxiety or depression or mental health crises of some type and I can give you some simple words of encouragement and spoken in a soft voice that can help maybe lift and elevate you then I'm happy to do it. 
Check your politics and your religion at the door. Come on in with an open mind and listen to the, read the chat and listen to the words. And that's pretty much all I've got to say. I think, uh, yeah, I think we're, I think we're good. I think we're really good. I'm having a problem with, there. I'm trying to find some software that I'm using right now. So thanks for coming out, folks. Um, if you want to donate, you can. The QR code is in the, on the screen there. You can donate to my coffee. I do have a coffee page for this. And of course, because it is YouTube and I've, I've got over a thousand subscribers, you can do a super chat, I think it is, if you want to donate there. It's up to you. Donate, don't donate. I'm good either way. I'm just here to try and help as many people as I can. And I hope that this evening I was able to do that. And I hope that the minor uh, disturbance in the force, if you will, was just that minor. So until we meet again, my friends, I trust and hope that you will uh, take care of yourselves. I will see you soon. Bye. Do you